Ah, what up vlog? Meet camera there. Let's do a little unboxing, shall we? Um, UNRL. I'm actually wearing their clothing today. So we're gonna start this off with an unboxing. Let's let's get let's get weird. Okay, two, one, go. What is up, dudes? Thank you guys. UNRL today just got a whole lot better. They're not lying. Okay, you know that feeling where like you leave the room or you leave the house and you're like, whoa, what am I forgetting? Well, today is one of those days. Although I will say, being a part-time baseball player and full-time content creator and carrying around two backpacks and a fanny pack all the time, I have that feeling quite, quite regularly. How can I prop this door open so I can get in at night without having to go all the way around? Okay. I don't know what episode this is, but it's an episode nonetheless. Welcome to the vlog, boys, girls, dads, moms. A lot to catch you up on. I haven't vlogged in a couple days because I needed to get caught up. I had a lot of vlogs to air before I just kept piling on the content. Perfect world, I wouldn't have, um, like there wouldn't be a, a huge time jump from the time that my vlog airs to the actual day of the week. That's perfect world. Obviously it's not ever gonna work out that way. I'm heading to the field. Today's day two in my starting routine. I'm gonna throw, train, mic up. I might do a, a just a bullpen today, but usually I just do long toss with 75 feet mound work, but I'm on a five man rotate or five day rotation this week. Usually it doesn't work out that way because we always have Mondays off in this league, but we have a doubleheader Tuesday, which I will have game two of, and now it's gonna get really windy because I don't like using my air conditioner. So I'll catch you guys at the field, see ya. Uh, yeah, so quick drive. See, now that I pulled up, I wanna throw all my wrap soda because I have yet to do that here. And today would probably be the best day out of the day two, day three potential for a bullpen day because tomorrow's Sunday, which means day game, which means 205, which means chaos, which means not a lot of time to get your work in. I had originally intended to get here a lot earlier than 146, so stretches in an hour. Yeah, I like getting here like three hours early, but never works. A lot of clients, no one cares, Robbie. No one cares about this little talking stuff. So let me walk into the clubhouse. Here we go. Hey, back. get the shoes, get the shoes. <laughs> what are those? Whoa. Let's go. How weird are they? Are they good? Are they weird? Yes and no. Shameless plug, discount code Robbie. Okay, this is what I'm bringing to the field. Backpack, mace, molds, content bag. What was the last episode you guys have seen? Last episode would have been my start day, right? In Evansville. So then we went from Evansville to Marion, Illinois, played against my old team, Southern Illinois Miners. Beautiful day here, beautiful field. I totally forgot to get a nail. My nail ripped once again, the third time ripping this season. And I went this morning to get it before I sat down at the desk and they were closed. They don't open till 9 a.m. And I went at eight. So I didn't get a nail and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get one tomorrow because it's Sunday. Either they're closed or I just don't have time. But again, all this talking stuff, no one likes me talking. So I do want to give a recap as far as what has happened in the last few days. So uh, my last start after that Evansville vlog that you guys saw was in Gateway. Went well, six innings, one run, got the win and uh, getaway day. I should have vlogged that day, honestly. That's, that's always a tough day to start on getaway day, especially when the bus ride was 10 hours. So I didn't sleep at all on the bus because I was just like, all right, I'll just work. Didn't sleep on the bus. We drove through the night, got in, got a three, four hour nap in, and then came to the field yesterday. And I was actually very surprised at how good, how not terrible my body felt. After that, having a start, and then sitting on a bus and then not sleeping. Uh, all in all, I was really pleased. I, I jot down some notes of things that I want to target for my work. That's, I guess that's the update. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing breakdowns on my outings. I partnered with the Frontier League Journal. They're gonna sponsor my breakdowns this year. So at the timing in which this vlog is aired, I probably will have at least one breakdown. I don't know how I'm gonna set it up yet in terms of do I break down the whole outing, which as a starter could be 
pretty long or do I just break down some things like I was, I was thinking about like a good segment in terms of uh, something that I liked, something that I didn't like, and then something like I could work, work on in the future. I think that's my, might be the go-to. That is the end of that long drawn out monologue, if you will. I'm gonna get ready to throw, warm up. I also have to train today, so I'll head over to the facility. I'll bring you along for the ride. See you on. This isn't quality vlog content. I don't know what is. Did you feel an abundance amount of pressure that there was a camera on you? And Negative ghost rider. Did you feel a strike? Negative. Did you throw the knuckleball already? Jeez. You want me to throw it? Here Man. comes the knuck piece. Ready? Don't mess it up. <laughs> Lock. Ew. That one looked like just easy. Well, what did it look like? Are know. you recording this whole thing? Yeah. Hey. And we found our new mechanism for deception. <laughs> Who was that? There was always a guy, uh, Hideo Nomo, was it? Hideo like Nomo turned. Hey, look at like second base. This is what they want. This angle. Uh huh. And then you see the catcher right between yeah, his right legs. Got the good one. It's quite at the end, but the ball had a really good gap. Mm. Oh boy. How'd it feel, man? Good. Felt really good. Do you hate catching him? No, I love catching him. Yeah, he's the least favorite person to catch. Because I throw too many strikes. Yeah, I would hate that. Way up, I feel blessed. And if it's a catchy song, right? Yeah, I mean, hey. Top five songs that you can listen to any given day. Yeah, no keys. <sighs> Soothing. Right? I don't know, dude. I feel like... That's my favorite genre of music. It's just you're going to get to classic rock. Yeah, we're, I mean, if... Because Bone told me, he's like, he's right. I was good for five innings, and after that, I feel like sometimes they don't help themselves, though. Every and, game. like, how many times do you think... Umpires, Hey, we're man. good for, uh... Tomorrow morning. Hey. Monday morning. Oh, um, he's like, damn, I want to get my leg going. Got a bob! Oh, my finger sucks. <laughs> Which color looks better with my outfit? So, what made you a sunglass guy? I don't know, to be honest. When I was younger, so they don't fit. I don't know what it is. Eat it. Cambiosa. It's alright. Cambiosa. Top, glove side. Let's take that. That's what it is. I have to change my grip mid throw. <laughs> like, takes the expectations away, <laughs> adds excitement. I think I found something, boys. There you go. I think we got it. Curveballs. I could do that. Okay, I got something here. All right, see what we're doing. Overstrided. Yeah. Even better. It's good. Once it once you like you start call. I it's have, good like in short distance. Yes, it's fine. I have close. Hold on. I can't throw it any better. Yeah, but it would have been dope if I caught it. Doug Flutie. See how easy that is? Just put the hand there. What are you doing? Ball, man. 
I'm fine. He's one out of breath. Yes! Historically <sighs> speaking, I can't catch. Oh! For days! Let's take a look at the boys that are in the training room every single day. These are the guys that you don't want to be when you grow up, kids. You can be him just because... I just hang out here. Yeah. Let's go get our food. Is it here? No, we have to walk. Where you gotta walk to? We have to go to Moe's. It's actually like cold now. Oh, here's DoorDash order. Hello? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, let me come get that from you. There you go, appreciate you. You as well. This is actually all mine. No, it's He's lying. Yeah. Here, you gotta vlog. Okay. Is this where I'm supposed to talk? <laughs> <laughs> Our food's here. Okay. I'm vlogging. Yeah. This is Paul Hall. He's a dangerous man. Hey, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh. What is that? Is that That's my bowl, baby! Let's go! That's what you got? Yeah, I'll trade you. That's for that. Are you scared? That looks good. Yeah. That looks better. Oh, you get a bowl is because it comes with free chips. So does mine. <laughs> Even asked, do you want the free chips and salsa? Yeah, so does mine. Something's going oh my god, that is amazing. Thank you. That's what they call it. Wow. Wow. I might order that every single day. What? It's five o'clock. Gates are opening. First pitch is at six oh five. So I gotta get a quick little workout in. We're here. How do you feel about that win? I feel really good. Okay, bye. Oh, what do we got today? A little grilled oh. chick. I don't know it's if I can veg. fit that into my max. This is where the magic happens. Are those tots? Loaded. Wow, that's that's hot in there. All right, copyright issues. Gotta go. All right. Come on. Oh, big win for the boys. I will holler back at you when I get to the hotel. See ya. Okay. Where are we? Up, up, up. Oh boy, that's a problem. AC broke. All right, so I gotta unpack the shot. Throwing content today, so I gotta throw those, upload them. All right, I'm out. Good night. Okay, we're back. You ready? Oh yeah. Are you stoked? Very I throw such better pens than that fear band guy. Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh. Uh, my kind of my biggest goal is just like tempo. Yeah. So like once you catch it, just get it back to me, and we're just gonna get reps in. How many do you want to go? I'm gonna go probably like three sets. Okay. So first set is gonna be like I'll show you the pitches I want to work on. Probably gonna be all of them. Second set we'll go more specific with like pitch sequencing, yeah. and then third set we're just gonna like face a hitter or something. And we're gonna go Instagram live, so don't mess it up. I I will. I promise. <laughs>
All right, let's take a break. Yep. Got two more sets. Slider in the dirt. Another break. This is your third set, right? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to sequence. I'll just kind of verbalize it. Oh, oh, cutter, middle, first strike. Oh, one. Oh, one, fastball, down, arm side. One, one, slider, first strike. One, two. Curveball. Oh, oh, fastball, glove side down. 1 0, glove side down. 1 1, change up first strike. Yeah. 1 2, cutter, hard, glove side. Oh, oh, start him with a curveball. Cutter, glove side. Little elevated fastball. 1 1, slider, first strike. One, two, four seamer, down and in. Ah, cutter, arm side. Your whole guy is a lefty. Oh, oh, sorry, with the breaking ball. Oh, one, change up, arm side. Oh, two. Fastball and a little bit more. Oh, boy. We called it a ball like they did the other night. You go cutter off that same spot. Go curveball, middle down. Good stuff. Appreciate you, dude. Oh, hey. Hey, guys. We're in the car again doing one of those just talking things. Let's update you. It is Monday, June 14th, AKA off day. Yesterday, Sunday, big win for the boys. Another series win, that's three series in a row. And then yesterday was good because obviously you get done earlier, which means I slept absolutely fantastic. So yeah, and now today we have an off day, but I'm heading to the field with a few other guys to throw. Personally, I, don't like taking days off during the season. That's just how I am. I'm gonna roll my windows down. I'll catch you guys at the field. See ya. All right, it's 8.48. I think everyone said they were getting here around nine. Does that mean before nine or after nine? I don't know. I'm just gonna hang out. We'll, we'll be fine. I got patience. I don't have to go to the bathroom. All right, log. You go up there. Now I get to work all day. Oh, all day. But is it work if it's fun? Is it fun though? No. All right, now uh, back to the office. We've got a lot of work to do. Gotta take advantage of this off day. All right, catch you guys back later. Okay, well, off day for the boys, but not off day for ya boy. You get it? Mm-hmm, it made sense. I'm running around in circles right now. I got a lot to do. I gotta take out the trash. I gotta, whoa. Love you guys. See you, dudes. Today is... Anyways, there's a lot of things going on here at the desk. We have a double header today. I have game two once again. Yesterday was probably the least amount of activity that I've done the entire time that I've been here. My body's kind of confused. I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to like, what's your start day morning routine? And to be honest, it's not drastically different than an, a typical morning routine. Wake up, get it going, make the bed first thing in the morning, get down, do about 10 to 20 push-ups. get some straight leg sit-ups in, go downstairs. This is something I've incorporated of late, jump in the koozie, jacuzzi, hot tub, for those of you guys who don't know my lingo, go downstairs, do that, grab a coffee from the breakfast area, make a little coffee with collagen, creatine, butter, stevia, and then go outside. There's a nice little area 
right there. You can actually see it from my room. That's a little earthing area. I woke up today with a little bit of like back discomfort. I don't know if that's because I didn't really do a whole lot yesterday or not, but I had to run through like an active like warm up. But uh, start day today, day five. I'm actually gonna use this video for two different things because I wanna tell you guys, I wanna let you guys in on something. Um, historically, I've had nail problems. I've been pretty vocal about nail problems, finger problems, blisters, cracked nails, all this stuff. And on day three, which would have been Sunday, I tried to go get a nail in the morning. They were closed because my nail had ripped on Saturday, like ripped off. My acrylics nail that I, I got like two weeks ago ripped off. So on Sunday, I tried to go get one in the morning. Well, I didn't know it was, I, I didn't know it was Sunday, but I didn't know the nail salons didn't open until like 10. So I couldn't go get a nail, but I wanted to throw my bullpen. I had to throw my bullpen. I, I couldn't throw without a fake nail, uh, with the nail being cracked. I couldn't throw or else it'd rip and turn into a blister and that's all the problems in the world. So I had to go to CVS and buy actual like acrylics cream, like a do it yourself type thing. So I don't know if you can see it, but I did it myself. It looks a lot better now than it did, but it really hurts because I'd made it too thick and it got inside. And now every time I throw a four seam fastball, it hurts because my skin is going up against that rough acrylics part. Threw a bullpen, uh, day three bullpen with this on, and I'll maybe include some clips for comedic purposes because they were nowhere close to be being where they were they were originally intended to go. I ended up throwing three sets in that bullpen on day three and the third set was pretty much money. I kind of just got used to it because what happens is when you feel that pain on your finger when you're throwing, you like kind of subconsciously try to avoid that pain and it kind of leads to you being under the baseball and like not pushing because if you think about it, so when you release the ball, when you throw in a four seamer, the ball is coming off that finger, right? It's gonna press that finger. And that's what like I kind of tried to avoid because it was hurting. So I went to the nail salon yesterday on our off day and they said that they couldn't do anything because if they were to take this acrylics off, the acrylics that I put on, then it would take my real nail with it. It would take the, the cracked part of the, the real nail and it would just pull it off. And we don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna have to grind today with this thing on me. Wish me luck. I'm, it's another challenge. It's, it'll be fun. That's all I got. All right, I'll catch you guys later, probably right before I'm heading to the field. See ya. Are you on? <laughs> All right, just got to the field and we're filling this puppy up. So I like to sit in about an hour before start time. I like to uh, get it around 110. Big, big piece. Not sit in there too long and make sure you hydrate. That goes without saying. It's 520. The tough thing about double headers is you don't know when, you're, you know when your game is starting. So just gotta kind of play it by ear, go outside, watch a little bit of the game, get a feel for how the game's going. Um, it is 5.20, so the game just started. Once I hot tub, then I get dressed and usually start the routine. Keep you guys posted. See ya. Well, in three other starts at this facility, even with the bag of 30 at Walters. I think I'm running late. This game is going quick. Well and it'll be Robbie Rowland to get the ball for the Lake Erie Crushers. It's me. Facing his former team. Lake Erie's done really good. Hey, Harris, they did that against Joel. He had back to back. An eight game hitting streak. Be in jeopardy if you can't cash in here. I just ordered some new cleats, so. We'll be swaggy here in a little bit. Pretty good. A long pause and a. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. That might be the, the YouTube header right there. <laughs> Love that. Austin. Well, traded Austin to... Good. So... Is Washington good? It's rough. There he is! There he is! Oh, I miss you, man. I miss you. Hey, at least you got number 16, so your Instagram doesn't have to change. Are you ready to face me? Are you hitting? I think so. What do you mean you think so? The game starts in like five minutes. You don't know? 
What does that mean? The angel summons Robbie. I didn't know it was a double header until like yesterday. I knew Sunday. Everyone's using banned substances. Ow. I don't want to pop it. All right. Tough one. Tough one for the boys. Not that tough, honestly. We won game one, but then we got no hit game two. Uh, and I didn't pitch well. I was very upset with my performance. <laughs> Baseball though, you know? Quick recap, because I know this vlog episode was long, but uh, my quick recap would be baseball. As much as we prepare and train for success every time we, we, we go out there, probably not gonna happen. I told you guys about the nail beforehand. I don't know if you can see it, but I ended up getting a dang blister. I didn't get out of the fifth inning. Let up two runs, five hits, walked guys. Obviously didn't have fastball command, but I wore a really cool shirt, so who won? In all seriousness, the message is we prepare accordingly. We do everything in our power to put us in a position to have success. That doesn't guarantee success. And that's the beautiful part about this game. That's why you gotta be a little bit uh, mentally insane. <laughs> but that's what makes it so beautiful. That's why not a lot of people can do it. And I like those challenges. Uh, positives, positive takeaways. I mean, I gave the team four and change. There's multiple visits to the mound in regards to if I could keep going or not. And heck yeah, I can. <laughs> it would have been nice to keep going and especially in a seven inning game, but I think overall that's a positive. I got into some jams and I don't think I ever really gave in mentally. Negatives. A whole lot. <laughs> the uh, the worst part, I think, overall was like not having my best secondary pitches too. Because I said it earlier with like the the the, the fingernail and the the blister. Like my fastball was the one that's affected, you know. So I was gonna say like throw a lot of off speed pitches. I didn't really have feel for my off speed pitches. <laughs> so a pretty good challenge. That's the game. Okay. I look forward to doing a breakdown on this outing. You can find that on my YouTube channel within the next couple weeks. Love you guys, God bless. Until next vlog, be sure to subscribe and uh, you don't have to turn post notifications on or anything, but subscribe. Sounds good? Sounds good. I'm wearing a wife beater. See ya.